Today, I thought we'd look at the new artifact sets, the new job gear for level 100. This was put out on the press site today, the 17th of May, 2024. I had to check what date it was. Things are starting to mesh together as we get closer, obviously, to Dawn Trail's release. And um, yeah, we're starting off with the Paladin set which I personally think looks absolutely fantastic. Obviously, all of these job sets are always an evolution on the first sets, right? From the level 50 set onwards, basically throughout the entire game, every single expansion. So they share similarities, and that's for a good reason. They share color schemes for the exact same reason. It's kind of like, you know, your iconic gear. So first of all, my first impression is I really like that sword. I can imagine if there is, uh, obviously there's supposed to be a field instance, so something like Eureka style. If it uses this as the base weapon and then turns into a glowy stage before changing, if they do indeed decide to use the artifact weapons like they did for Eureka again, it would be cool to see this with a glow on it. I really, really like that. Of course, uh, there's still no confirmation if the artifact gear at level 100 will be diable or if you will have to actually upgrade it from uh, level 99 or whatever, like we did with this expansion that we're currently on. So, um, yeah, obviously it should be diable at some point, whether or not we'll have to do a dungeon to do that again, like we did uh, previously with uh, Memora Misera, and uh, get it that way. But what a beautiful looking set. I do like the way that the metal looks. Of course, with the texture updates, graphic graphical updates, this is going to look, like 10 times better in the game than it is on this white background um yeah really 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 nice so let's move on then from paladin next we've got warrior warrior blew me away in the job action trailer i really really can't wait to play some more warrior it is my favorite tank personally is this the sort of set that i care too much about not really for my own personal taste it's not it's not up there I can see some people absolutely loving this. It is a natural evolution of what we've had. The weapon is fairly okay. It's not my kind of axe. Um, I quite like the hammer that they introduced um, in the Pandemonium series. And I also quite like, um, you know, things that look more bladed than this. Like it's more of a blade with a stick attached to it. Rather than there being this huge section of ribbons and things oh look there's a little face there it looks like a namazu with two eyes a head and then a beak or something like a weird duck can't unsee that now can you no sorry i've ruined the weapon it's uh it's all right it's cool but uh the thing about warrior is you don't see it like this you see it pounding the ever living crap out of the enemy with uh amazing spell effects and blades so i can't wait to play warrior it's awesome next we've got dark knight which, um, I don't know. Personally, I think the sword is definitely the highlight. It always is. The great sword is always the highlight of a Dark Knight for me. It looks cool. It looks edgy. It kind of looks like, um, sort of like a Sith, to be perfectly honest. I quite like the chainmail. We've seen this before. There's not too much of an evolution, in my opinion. I kind of like this cowl thing, though, either side. But you know for a fact that's going to clip quite badly with those horns when your head moves but um i do like the gloves as well i think the texture difference is going to be quite quite impressive on things like this where it's just a really dark color and then you've got silver so when you go through somewhere that's like full of blue light or or yellow light and that's uh, you know the ssr kicks in you're just going to have that surface scattering and it's just going to go pop it's going to pop all of those colors. Of course, with the dual dye channel palette as well, we might be able to change this purple as well as just the black when this is a dyeable version. Who knows? Then, of course, we've got Gunbreaker. Gunbreaker is probably my least favorite tank, personally, um, just out of preference, but it's, it's cool. Uh, yeah, I don't think I like this one at all. I really, really liked the Shadowbringers one. Um, I think Endwalkers was okay. I don't know. I mean, the only thing I can say is look at the texture quality on that leather. It looks fantastic. It feels like, you know, you, you look at this and you can hear it, the, the leather creaking and cracking. You know, it looks like real leather. Um, I would have preferred maybe a fur line for the gloves. This red section that fades off. 
it's okay. It's not something that immediately screams at me personally. Um, but maybe it does for you. Who knows? I did see that they've got Squall's Leonhart attack. So that's kind of badass. Um, I'm a massive Final Fantasy VIII fan. It, I guess it looks closer to something that Squall might wear. No, I'm I'm not really a fan, especially not of these un, uh, like pants as well. Why are they a completely different color, texture, and quality? I don't like that. They should be black leather or red leather. <sighs> I don't know. I don't like that. And the eye patch. Yeah, I don't know. I prefer helms than eye patches. But moving on, then we got White Mage. Which uh, I think I'm going to be playing in my static in uh, Endwalker. I think it's either that or Sage, depending on what the other healer chooses. Um, first of all, it's another tree. <laughs> Although this time it's a pole with a crystal, like a crystal vase of like a lily. Up, it looks like a lily bell upside down. It looks like a bell actually. Is that the? Is that a bell? Because there's a little ringer thing. What, what's the thing in the middle of a bell called? The goat thing actually makes the ding dong. Anyway, there's one of those. It kind of looks like an upside down or a lily bell surrounded by leaves. It fits actually with Dawn Trail more than most of the other weapons. But it is, you know, it's naturally going to do that because it's white mage and they like the whole nature thing and they keep giving us trees as weapons. Which is fine, but I like that they're tropical leaves. They're quite high res leaves, actually. That's quite nice. Uh, I'm not sure how that would die. Hopefully, there could be some glow or something that comes out of the lily bell, like the bell thing. The actual outfit is nothing really exciting for me. Um, we've seen so many iterations of of robes very similar to this, so it's I don't know. It's not something that immediately goes, oh, I really like that artifact set. I want to wear that, the entire expansion. It doesn't look like there's a hood either. It just looks like it like has a cape this time, which I suppose is a plus. I don't know. And those boots are quite, in my opinion, quite uninspired. I don't like those. But, um, and there's a hairpin. I don't like to see hairpins and things like this because it means that that I don't know. I really want Viera and Rothgar to have more headwear. And so far, have we seen a single helm apart from... So there's a circlet. Warrior, but that's not really a, a full helm. Dark Knight might be the only one that Viera and Rothgar can't wear so far. Unless it's a full head replacer, which it looks like it is. Gunbreaker, it's just an eye patch, and White Mage, it's a pinion, I guess, like a pin in the hair. Yeah, not a massive fan of the robe, but it could change. It might look amazing in the game, I have no idea. It's hard to judge off of still images. Then we've got Scholar. Scholar looking, actually, I'm quite impressed with Scholar's outfit. Um, we have actually seen quite a lot of in-game footage of Scholar, including, obviously, in the benchmark uh, trailer stuff. Uh, where we've seen this fabric and what it looks like. And also this was showcased um, actually last year, wasn't it? Uh, during the Fan Fest uh, at Europe. So um, where, where they showed you the different texture qualities, they used this as an example. This book's interesting, said somebody somewhere. I I don't know. It's going to be... I, I do like the fact there's extra detail for each of the pages. So maybe they're going to go back and make all of the books look like there's actually pages there. You can see the more defined lines. Um, yeah, the texture quality is going to be the thing that attracts me the most. Do I like the actual outfit? It's okay. I don't like the mortarboard. I think it's weird. Um, but it is scholarly. The one thing to take from this, uh, though, is that um, obviously they've got a monocle there, so that will probably be a visor option for the helm. One other thing to note is that in Dawn Trail, you'll be able to have a set of glasses and a hat equipped at the same time because that's how the new glamour system works so you'll be able to technically wear any headpiece that has a visor option that gives you a monocle or glasses you could also wear glasses with those unless they do something to overwrite that it should work because it's an extra slot so you could have like multiple layers of glasses 
And then you've got a fashion accessory, so you technically could have like three pairs of glasses on your head. <laughs> Can't wait to see that. It looks cool though. I like the texture differences. I like the red velvet. Next, we've got Astro then, and Astro looks fantastic. I do like this sort of felt texture. The, the way the light, even in this just basic picture, you know, this basic render is being hit, if it looks anything like this in the actual game, this is going to look fantastic. It really does look like a felt outfit, like a, a knighting gown sort of thing. I like the tassels, the use of gold here. The weapon's not bad either. Look at that weapon. Wow. With the wings there. That's a really nice artifact weapon. And I, I do like... I like the robe. Yeah, I actually fully like that. I think that would look fantastic. If it keeps this felt sort of thing going on with like the, you know, how it changes the color on felt like this. You've got that sort of sea green that goes into the blue because of the way the light hits it. That's going to look really good with a variety of different dyes. And metallic dyes might look just bonkers. Really, really big fan of that. Then we've got Sage. Sage actually looks quite nice. Um... Again, following on from the previous iteration, I am not a fan of visors. It's not something I particularly go for. Uh, I would glamour that away immediately. I am a fan of capes, however. I do like capes. And yeah, it's like a trench coat. It reminds me of Gunbreaker for some reason more than Gunbreaker does. Yeah, maybe this, this should be the Gunbreaker outfit. Uh, maybe that's because it's white and it reminds me of Thancred. We've got these little... Um, Little vials on the side there or something. I'm not sure what those are. Again, reminds me of Gunbreaker. Um, can we just point out the fact that we have like a saw blade? It's one of those like pokey saws. What are they called? We have like a thing and it's it vibrates the the sword like a vibro blade, blade forward and backward. We have basically flying laser sword saws. Um, they look pretty cool. They're quite beefy. Yeah, they're not my favorite. Neural lifts, but they're okay. They're okay. It does look like we have four floating carpenter weapons, though. Not gonna lie. And then, of course, the boots. The boots are quite nice. Yeah, the only thing I really dislike about the set is probably the visor. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what this is. What is that? Like a little box of trinkets? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Again, another headpiece that's just a visor. Moving on then to Monk. Uh, obviously, Monk here looking pretty fire. I do actually like Monk sets. They're simple. Um, you, it's very hard to see weapons on a Monk unless they go bananas with them. Um, but I think this looks quite nice. Very simple. These are almost like ninja blades, to be fair. Especially considering how they're attached. It looks like you're just holding blades. Looks like a ninja more than a Monk. I do like the plated boots here. I like the red with the, the yellow. It just reminds me of Stormblood once again. It reminds me of Lys. The texture differences are radical between the trousers and this like drapey bit from the roby section. That's huge, like the corduroy almost, and then the like felt. Interesting. And then, of course, they've gone for a headband. So like something that clips onto the top of your head that every race in the game can use. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I like that one. Dragoon then is, I don't know. I'm not a fan of these fake hair things. Uh, these, what are they, are they called? Not poms. <laughs> what are they called? When a helmet has hair on the back of it. I know it's something that's done in history, but I don't like the shape of this. This like point. And it kind of looks like you've put it in resin and then stuck it on the back of your head. I mean, you could quite easily have. I think this helm would have looked better without that, but then it would look so close to the Heavensward artifact stuff. Then it would just, yeah, it, it, yeah. The helm's cool, but I don't like the back. The chest piece, it's hard to judge on a Lalafell because you're not going to get how big those shoulders are. Uh, so I'm just going to say it looks good. I like the differences between, obviously, the plate and the scale mail. And then we've got this weapon, which looks like a trident. I don't know. Perspective. Is that turned? I guess that's slightly slanted. It's hard to really see because it's not just straight up in your face. Um, asymmetric, maybe? Or is it just tilted that way? I can't tell. It's cool. I like it to some degree. I especially like uh, I like the Dragoon sets that have the, the fins on the back, like the dragon tails. And this extra dragon tail. Quite interesting. I, I need to see it up close. Um, but I really don't like these 
weird hair things because it doesn't look like real hair. If it looked like like real hair, it wouldn't be so bad. But yeah, not bad, not too bad. Then of course, oh, also it is worth noting that's a proper helm. So rough gu and it shows part of your face. So Rothgar and Vieira probably won't get to wear that, or will they? Uh, that's something to ask, isn't it? Right. So then we go on to Ninja. This guy, <laughs> this guy looks uh, looks mischievous. Let's put it that way. He looks like he's he's the sort of person that you wouldn't want to mess with in a in a in a dark alleyway behind like a club or something. I don't know. He's got the the purple hair. He's got the slight visor covering eye patch thing and then he's just like peeking at you he's, he's ready to like lick his blade it looks like yeah very strange stance um outfit wise yeah i i mean again i'm not a fan of this headpiece personally it's it's strange it's different but I'm, I'm not a fan the weapon looks cool you've got those little hooky things i don't know what they're called a bit of rope on it so presumably like a shuriken this actually kind of feels like it feels like the blade itself could be thrown and you hold onto the rope or something and then go over here and then you know you drag the person over a bit like scorpion um i like the the, the glove kind of this size it makes it look like thanos's glove um <laughs> just expecting the infinity gems to be on each of these study bits here um maybe that's maybe that's what ninja's turning into uh, then, of course, we've got these little spiky bits. Yeah, it looks all right. Honestly, it's not too bad. It's not my favorite ninja set at all. I prefer ninjas to have the face covering and, a, like, a, a styled helm. But I guess, considering uh, Vieira and Rothgar, you know, maybe that's not a feasible option. But, um, yeah. I always think back to the, the Riser costume, where they actually had specific helms designed for Rothgar and Vieira to fit in and for Vieira it had like literal bunny ears sewn into it I thought that was so good why can't they do that with like more helms I really don't know good texture differences as well then of course we've got samurai um this blade is the thing that stands out the most because of the color I love the way that this looks just like a real used hardened blade like it looks like steel and then, for some reason, it goes from that color to just brass and gold, and then it's got a dragon on the end. I don't understand the color scheme for this. I know that, you know, swords have to be a certain color, but you could have quenched this. I think a black blade would have suited this so much better for the hilt and, obviously, the pommel. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe a black blade would have been a cooler option. Maybe this can be dyed, that color, in the future? I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see where we get the dyeable versions. Again, we're showing off a Rothgar here, but with an eyepiece. I think that's just like a like a monocle type thing with a bit of string that goes behind the head, I guess. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. Yeah, it looks like the future of Helms might very much just be face items or circlets or little, little bits. Mm. Uh, in terms of the actual outfit, though, yeah. It, it looks very similar to other samurai outfits, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. You know, this isn't supposed to break the grounds of, you know, artifact sets. There's supposed to be natural evolutions of the set. And I think this looks like a natural evolution of the set in some ways. I think I still prefer Stormbloods, though. Absolutely. I don't think anything really compares to that. But I, I suppose that's what I'm supposed to think. But, um... Yeah, I can't wait to see the texture qualities in the game with the real lighting. I just think the sword's the wrong color. Especially when so much work has been put into red, black, gold. Red, black, gold, white. Red, black, gold, white. And then it's red, black, gold, bluey, silver. Mm. Next. And then we've got Reaper. Which reminds me of something. And I'm trying to remember what it reminds me of. I think it's one of the... One of the characters in Little Nicky, <laughs> the Adam Sandler film. I, I don't know if you, you get that as well. I don't know. It's the, I think it's the lever with the cross hatching and it, yeah. And then the plumes. Yeah. This, this looks like quite a cool set. Actually, this is going to look good on some characters in the game. I like the legs as well with the, like the, the, the gaps, but yeah, the plumed, reaper blade you can't really go wrong with a scythe scythes are so 
good looking regardless of what they are even the worst scythe in the game can look amazing in the right conditions because it's so big you know a big weapon it's just in your face so all this intricate design just pops out naturally because of its size we've got some gold chains that have been broken on here as you can see like breaking the chains we've got this like plumed mohawk it's a mohawk blade that's that is the edgiest and coolest thing i've seen probably all day and then this plumed and and you can tell already that because of the transparency and the ssr the way that light's going to hit this that's going to look amazing it might be some of the most fantastic feathers we've seen in the game just on this set yeah really impressed with this one but it does remind me of the sort of person who would show you his dungeon if you asked him in his basement moving on then we've got bard which when i first saw this my initial thoughts were why have you strapped a stratocaster to a bow but then i remembered that harp bows were a thing and it's it's just it's it's metal isn't it it's metal af i love it i think it's fantastic it kind of reminds me a bit of a like a steel guitar as well because of the well it looks like it's made of steel i love the design on this the wings and stuff a lot of people are saying this is the the funniest weapon out of a lot 100 percent. it's got like the fretboard <laughs> it's got the tune tuning heads it's 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 brilliant it's a strange way to play the guitar though you would think that they'd play it the other way around and then have the top here so you'd be like literally playing the music because at this point this poor poor character is going to be playing the guitar backwards whilst firing music forwards but yeah interesting i think it's just it's brilliant isn't it but a power of metal you're literally playing guitar hero to kill the enemies love it absolutely love it and it, i don't know the helm with the plumed feathers it's just such a it's a completely different direction for bard isn't it bard has always been quite flamboyant but this is i think a natural evolution this could very easily um be the sort of character you would expect to see in dawn trail in that uh, area that looks wild west this is a this is like the wild west bard i love it especially with the boots with the feathers this felt as well these felt stripes or at least it looks like felt and then the various uh, it's, it's just it's so good it is so good it's a novelty it's a bit of a gimmick but i love it more like this definitely it's just uh, it's brilliant i just want to play guitar here there needs to be uh, a pop-up for a new um a new mechanic in 8.0 where we get the actual fretboard with the notes and we have to pre press the right button like quick time style to actually pull off some of like wanderer's minuet and stuff that would be great now we've got machinist now i have a problem with Machinist, as most of you will know if you've watched any of my live streams, um, Machinist always annoys me because I like having weapons dis uh, displayed on my character with glamours. But every time you have a weapon displayed on your character, you get the ether pack. And there's only a few weapons in the game that actually change the colour of the ether pack. Most of the time, it's just this horrible, ugly thing. I know for the lore reason why it exists there. But it would be nice if we could either toggle the visibility of it or customize it. And a lot of people have said, oh, that's clearly not possible because, you know, if they could do that, they would have done it before. But Pictomancer that was just announced has different palettes as well as a brush in the other hand that change as they go. So if it's possible for Picto, wouldn't it be nice to go back and make custom ether packs that are actually themed around the content? It, it's it's very jarring sometimes when you look at glamours but yeah apart from the ether pack horrible ugly child in the uh in the party here it's not a bad looking set i love this gun this definitely looks like something from a wild west once again like this is great it's like um something will smith would pull on a character in in that awful film wild wild west oh i hate that film it's it's so cringe but fun to watch uh yeah honestly quite cool i really like that it's it, i don't know what caliber bullets that fires machinist looks quite good actually on the job action trailer i was i was impressed especially with their new 
like double machine gun airdrop death maneuver as i'm calling it, it looks amazing uh eye patch again not impressed gloves they're okay they've got white bits on them it's sort of forgivable it kind of looks like a mishmash of what you would expect we've got spurs on the bottom though which is just brilliant and then we got these boots it's yeah it's like modern world west like techno west cyber west yeah that works steam 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 west yeah definitely definitely cooler than some of the others i also like this character's hair very nice highlights uh moving on then we've got dancer dancer in my opinion is a great demonstration of how ssr will look in a game and also improve transparency this is something we haven't seen a lot of but it's like they've gone let's test all of the transparency all at once so you might remember that the wedding gowns things like that the eternal bond ceremony gear that had a bit of transparency with a veil if you can imagine what that's going to look like at an eternal bond ceremony in the expansion holy moly because look at this and this is just a still image the lighting is very fixed it's not the best lighting of course we're not seeing any reflections from in-game stuff it's just giving us bright white light or yellow light in this uh, i think what they've probably done is they've put this on a backdrop like one of the stage backdrops in the game with a fixed light pointing towards it in that environment so it's it's just fixed yellow light like housing lighting but yeah the the transparency on this is the thing that grabs my attention it doesn't quite look as silky as it probably will in the game as well again because of a lack of that lighting um but i think that this is going to look absolutely fantastic i love the way that the colors are actually being changed with the colors from the actual veil part so with the dye feature we're going to be able to impact that you know hopefully uh as a set though I'm not that impressed. Like, I love the transparency, but I'm not a massive fan of the actual set. The weapons are cool. They remind me of uh, the Luna ones. Definitely from Tsukiyomi. Uh, a little bit, but I guess they've got like a sun sun and moon theme there. Bits of, bits of stuff on the edge there. I'm not going to say feather, but more of this material. Yeah, I think this is just, I like the idea of a transparency. It looks great. But the actual outfit is not my cup of tea. Of course, this is probably going to look quite different on a female character, considering how much exposed chest there is on this character. So uh, there might be some variations to look into. It might look completely different, and I might like it. Who knows? So moving on, we got Black Mage. Now, Black Mage decided that um, you know it it wants to be the the, the cat person now. So we have uh, a kitty cat with a kitty cat pretty great honestly this character looks so different doesn't it than what we have in the game after playing Mikote for 10 years you can really really tell when you see a Mikote you're like wow that really looks quite different even with this outfit on um I, I do like the black robes I think they're great the boots are lovely uh, we've got similar boots in many different places like this I do like the curled tips at the bottom reminds me of the, the witch's boots um, but with a better material and better look to them. Yeah, if you've seen the Witcher's Boots in the game. This staff's cool, though. I do like having a large cat on a stick. Who doesn't like a large cat on a stick? That would be cool. It'd be cool if the eyes glowed as well, red, when you used it on, like, an upgraded version or whatever. But, mm, and then a bit of purple there. It reminds me of something that uh, Master Matoya would use in her youth. That sort of outfit. And I like these sorts of hats. A lot of people will moan that it's just another robe. But that's what Artifact says. I will say. The gloves remind me of Katana Ravel. And that sort of gear. So it'll be interesting to see what the gloves look like separate. If they have any tattoos applied to them as well. As these sections. Um, these like tattoos on your fingers. I do like tattoos. They do make your character look completely different. So, yeah, I wish there was more tattoo options in the game, to be honest, on character creator. Nice set. Honestly, not much to really say about it. I need to see it in the game because it's quite, like, dark. And in this lighting, it doesn't do any favors. But I do like the staff. Very cool. Then we move on to, obviously, Summoner. We've got the iconic Summoner horn back as a face part here. We've got, I don't know why Titan is there. Titan's just chilling out. 
Um, I hopefully one day they give us more glams, like eggy glamours and things like that. It would be cool. This book's really nice, actually. I was actually quite surprised of how much I liked this. It's quite nice. I like the sort of Bahamut wings here, the metal, the detail on this is beautiful. But I might say this now and think in the future, oh, this is actually quite a bad book. It's because it looks so much more detailed than what we have currently. That's probably why I like it. The robe's nice, the felt, the way that it hangs. It just looks so much more real, doesn't it? More, So much more realistic than what we've got. All these tassels and things. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how much... Um, motion these have as you move. Mm, I always like to see fluidity of clothing when you're moving around or casting things because in the past it's just sort of like if you have a bit of a tassel it flaps around wildly in the wind so it'll be interesting to see how wild these go with high frames per second in a windy area or when you're casting a spell. Definitely interested. It's not a bad set, it's a natural evolution. Um, yeah, it looks like he's dressed for the mountains, actually, of, like, Urkapacha or something. So, yeah, I like the felt and the, uh, like, the almost fur lining. Moving on, then, we got Red Mage. Red Mage, uh, I don't know if I like or not. The blade's interesting, because it's a really cool-looking steel blade that comes out of a rose. And I thought that was quite unique. It, I mean, I think that's what it's supposed to be, like a rose. I don't know what else it could look like. I don't know. But... I think the uh, the focus crystal is the thing I don't really like about that. But again, this is just my opinions. It looks all right. It's not bad. It just looks like what we've had before for the most part. Um, but at least it's got a helm, right? It's got a helm, a proper helm. So will Rothgar and Vieira be able to use this? But the texture quality on this, the the, the felt and stuff, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? I can't wait to see what the old sets look like side by side with the new sets because they might look 10 times better. Yeah, nice boots, weird strappy things, moons, nice decoration and details. Yeah, really nice. Just don't like the focus crystal. And yeah, it's an interesting rose shape. Definitely. And then we've got Viper, of course. Uh, we've seen this hundreds of times already, or at least I have with the Viper set, including on the benchmark. It looks fantastic. I love the way that they've done leather. And I've seen the recreation in real life, um, up close and personal, when I met with Yoshi P at FanFest. And it really is stunning in real life, and it's as stunning in the game. It looks identical. Uh, obviously showing here with the aura, with the horns going out the side, poking out. Does that mean that uh, Viera will have their ears poke out the top, do you think? Or do you think they will just have it uh, unshown? Or will Rothgar be able to wear this? It's very interesting, isn't it? Because it shows the majority of your character. And it's quite a big head item. It's a big hood, isn't it? Hmm. Interesting. Can't wait to find out. It probably just hides it completely. But uh, if they can pop out aura horns like this, you would expect the ears to pop out for Viera. Then, of course, we've got these little tassely bits. Yeah, it's very nicely styled, and uh, we've seen it lots of times before. And then there's another picture of it in action, of course. And then, of course, we've got Picto, which is the latest iteration. Again, uh, as we saw in the job action trailer, and also when Yoshi P was playing during the live letter, part 81, he gave a showcase of this in the game, casting spells, showing the rotation. Uh, obviously, this is a landscape motif that she has painted here. Which is cool. We now know that there's weapon and a minion. Sorry, creature, weapon, landscape. That's how it goes in that order. Uh, different motifs, those paintings. And we know that that's the landscape one. Or the buff one, I think, because of the stars. Um, but yeah, we know that they've customized um, the palettes to match with whatever brush. So if you go and get a brush from Eden... It'll probably have the Eden wings, but so will, will the palette. So things are stylized. Uh, the reason I bring this up is because um, pretty much every other job other than Machinist has this. Uh, it's just the ether packs that don't get customized, which is really sad. But yeah, Picto, overall, I loved this. Uh, I loved it when it was cosplayed as well, uh, when they showcased that. It's such a great artifact set. 
it's a great start to what could be one of the most enjoyable uh, casters in the game to play. Definitely. And I can't wait to try it out. I really can't. And think of all of the different glams to make up. How many people are just going to turn this helm off, though? Get the afro and turn into a Bob Ross cosplay. I can guarantee that's going to happen day one. But yeah, overall, these sets are really nice. I can't wait to see what they look like in the game and how they die and all the different weapons they can design for the new jobs. That's going to be the most exciting thing for me, seeing how far they backdate and what glowy weapons look like. And obviously the dual die channel palette, when we obviously will inevitably get dieable versions of the artifact gear that we're seeing here, how it will die with a dual die ch uh, channel palette system, the way the new textures are changed by light hitting them. What is your favorite job artifact set? I know you have bias for what you might play. Me personally... I think my favorites would have to be Reaper, because I think it's just bonkers. Uh, definitely in the top there with Bard. I think Bard stole it with the weapon, personally. Apart from that, yeah, there's some good sets. Oh yeah, an Astro, yeah. But me, personally, I think um, it'll be a, a, to a toss-up between Bard and the Reaper outfit. I just like this. Probably not the Helm. The helm would get turned off, but I love this like trench coat with the feathers, and then yeah, it just looks it looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? You could make some uh, pretty pretty awesome sort of gothic characters with that, similar to that doll character that we've seen in in the, that one dungeon. Yeah, very cool. But yeah, let me know what you think. Yeah, and uh, those are my thoughts and opinions on the job sets for level one hundred. Wow. We're so close to the release of Dawn Trail now. It's it's just unreal, isn't it? I can't wait. I am incredibly excited to share more with you. Much love. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.